So you are also a jazz bassist right. and a Grammy winning producer. Right. How does music play a role in your career? What's, what's the role of music <laughs> in your life? Music is, is everything to me. Um, there's a great saying that you can leave the music, but it never leaves you, right? And for me, jazz music, man, I can still remember the, the first time my sister brought home a jazz recording. I couldn't believe that they were actually like making up the music, improvising, and, and it sounded so good, right? Yeah. And you go to any jazz recording, any jazz performance, it'll always be different because it's always improvised. And so for me, as I left um, the jazz world, I, was, I studied music and I toured professionally. Um, I said, what can I do to be affiliated with the music? And that's why I began my charity, uh -huh. Helping Musicians yeah. uh, in New Orleans. It was basically a stock brokerage for musicians. Which, so the music also has been a great way to connect with folks. Yeah. So for example, last December, I brought 57 people with me to Cuba. Um, to make a new album called Cuba, The Conversation Continues. Cuban and American musicians coming together and playing. We were there when Obama made his announcement <laughs> that we're normalizing relations, <gasps> making an album called Cuba, The Conversation Continues. So wow. it was an incredible time to be there. Um, and who do we bring? We brought, I brought fund managers and lawyers and teachers, a bunch of musicians, and Arturo O'Farrell, the musician I work with, he and I are putting this album out together in a few weeks, and it's really a piece of cultural diplomacy. Mm -hmm. uh, musicians can say things that politicians can't. You know, musicians have been collaborating for the last 50 years. Now the politicians are finally catching up with us. So music has given me an art form to speak my mind and have an impact. And so that's why music has been a guiding force for me. It always has been and always will be.